guys, it's Deja, the Princess of Variety, and I'm back with, I think, part 28 of My Life is Strange Let's Play. And we are trying to figure out how to stop the Two Wells Diner from blowing the heck up. So, oh my god. I really do not know what the heck I'm supposed to do. Like... stop it but this this goes so fast I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to do am I just supposed to watch it blow up well girl I'm trying okay Oh, okay, wow, this magically appears. Like, woohoo, here's the answer. Get out of here. Yes. Oh, God. All right, now run. Oh, I think that's the police officer we talked to the other day. What? It's like everyone's dead. going to storm in here and surrounding counties the emergency broadcast system is now in effect go get him julia as a student at Blackwell Academy, I'm torn in writing this essay. I love my school and the education it has provided, but at the same time, I have to use my own critical thinking abilities as a budding journalist. So when I report that Blackwell has a problem, it's not with any clear agenda. In fact, this problem reflects a disturbing national trend. In short, there are bullies at school and they are us. True. Trust me, I'm trying to figure out how. I swear. I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? The two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out I know. there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. Come on, Warren. Give us okay, a picture. Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. Hold so on. glad everybody is safe here. But I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. Now, if only I had Rachel back. Now, Max, what about that info I gave you? Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? I'm gonna I'm tell- Mmm. <laughs> I want to tell the truth, but it's like, we're all about to die, so. I'm gonna just say she's dead. Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. God, no, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. 
Are you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson, has this creepy photo torture room. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk. Papadou hated him. Yeah, you saw. You saw Rachel. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... he killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? He used some drug and gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is... is if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No, what have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's dead. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel, oh God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me, just... It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. She obviously cared about you, Frank. Rachel cared about a lot of people. Especially Chloe. But, uh... Now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. But you're cool. Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and space. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ring. Where's Chloe? I... I'll find her. Not in this storm, you won't. And you're not going out there, Max. I just have to pray that Chloe and David are hold up someplace safe. I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. Um, I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. Even if he doesn't always show it. I'm sorry I caused so many problems with David and Chloe. You did the right thing. David overstepped his bounds. I had a suspicion he was taking his private surveillance way too seriously. But he's sorry, and I wish he was here right now. I just want our lives to be normal again. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me, trying to keep my family together again. Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? David saved my life from the storm. I saw how much he cares about Chloe. Even if he couldn't show it, David needs you more than ever. And I can see why you love him. I'm so happy David was there for you. He has a lot of weight on his back from the war, but he truly wants to help people. He even agreed to take a family counseling class. I'm sure that was a hard thing for him to do. It shows how much he truly cares about you and Chloe. Nothing would make me happier than for David and Chloe to make peace, not war. But I don't know what to do anymore. I just... 
I just want this storm to blow over forever. Maybe it's time we leave Arcadia Bay. If we can. David is a real hero, Joyce. I know that all he wants to do is make you happy. I know he would do anything for you. And Chloe. I know. And yes, he's not William, but that's okay. He's not supposed to be. You reminded me of when he came into my life. I was ready to give up. David's love gave me strength. He even told me I was his hero. And I can't give up loving him. I want him to come back home. Oh, I hope I get to tell him that soon. Please be okay, Chloe. I can't lose you. At least Frank still has Pompidou at his side. As long as I have my Pompidou with me. It's so hard to believe people were eating breakfast here. Only a few hours ago. I'm not about to sit. I feel like I wasted so much time talking to people. Oh, wait. Good job, Warren. I hope those supplies are enough. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. I can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. You just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I have to go back in time. Jefferson already ki killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Where is he? Dead. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's, there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? I I haven't told anybody else except for Chloe, and, and she can't help me right now. I know I can be a pain in the ass, and, and you've always treated me like a person. Not, not a beta nerd. I, I told you before that I'll always believe you. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic 
or science, even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole. You're part of something bigger. Now, I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason, and I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. It's gonna be like, go back in time and save Chloe or save the Earth. Please be okay, Chloe. I can't lose you. Hey. Be careful out there. I'm gonna hug him, cause like... I could use a hug before I do this. Me too. Cause I feel like if I kissed him, then it would be like, oh, I'm just kissing you because we're both about to die. He looks like he's like really into this hug. Better go before I get pathetic and tell you not to. You're not pathetic. You're one of my heroes. And I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. That's what I'm doing, dude. Have you been drinking? We got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Oh, God. <sighs> it's so weird Chloe. seeing this stuff. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, to Warren. Did to Rachel. Let's go now. Chloe, wait. Listen. I can walk and listen. Okay. Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to. You're gonna die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time, and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up, so there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you, and others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Chloe, I should never have run away from you like I did when we left Arcadia Bay. I know I hurt you. All I ever wanted was to make it up to you. Please don't run away from me. Max, I'm not running from you. 
This is when I need you the most. This is how to make everything up to me. With your power and my gun, nothing in the universe can stop us now, Max. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? You were in a wheelchair. Chloe, I'm... I'm gonna tell you the truth, no matter what. I changed your past, and I... I, I had to make a terrible choice, and I... I... Max, please tell me. I won't be mad at you. I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And... and you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and... You... You asked me to... End your life. But Chloe... There was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline. To see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's... That's why you should come with me, so we can stay together. And stay alive. I hear you, Max, but... Do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us, and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe, no matter how much of a douche he's been, David truly cares about you. <sighs> Please. Like he cared when he got in your face for smoking a joint? You should have seen his reaction when I told him that Jefferson killed you. He was crushed. Are you serious? I... I can't see him showing any feeling. Except towards my mom. So what's your plan? We tell him everything. Including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I... I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen. In a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. Oh, how cute. Please let this be the right choice. Because if I have to go back one more time, I'm about to slap somebody. <sighs> so, what, never gonna die in a tornado? I see that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And we traveled through multiple realities just to 
save my ungrateful ass over and over and I hope it was worth it but I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama come on I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time ago. nobody you're Max fucking Caulfield time warrior even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure. But not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So... Without Are you guys about to make out? My powers wouldn't even exist. <laughs> and for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You, you remember, right? Well, we... We left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Ugh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this, stop beating yourself up, okay? We both paid our dues already on it. God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on! What? Chloe... I've got your back, Rex. Whoa! Alfred I'm about to punch myself in the face. <laughs> little pieces of time. I'm what back in class. What the hell? House. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory. I have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This the might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this is messed up. In black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Bueller. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity what as tortured, the... right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, what though, I could that? frame any one of you in a dark corner. Is that your bloody nose? Moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. What the hell is this? You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. Oh, that's too creepy. That's a really pretty picture of Max, though, even though she was drugged all up and whatnot. Not yet, you bastard. Max, if you're reading this, it means you're dead, Mr. Jefferson. XOXO. I'm creeped out now. Well, at least that's still the same. Rachel didn't deserve any of this.
I see you, Max Caulfield. Oh my God, I'm Don't scared. even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. My selfies are shit. I need to be framed by a real artist. I'm just a poser. Yes. You will be posing. For me. There's so many angles I want to expose you with to the world. I hope you don't mind needles or duct tape. This can't be real. I don't believe it. Hey, Kate. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You never understood me or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone. And that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's wow, not this true. Is creepy. I've always been your friend. What the hell? Is this the boys' dormitory? Oh god. Can I open any door? I'm scared. There's so many keys here. Find it now. This is creeping me the heck out. Best time for a friend. Keys, please. Oh, no. Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm there? Hey guys, it's Deja and I'm back with the second part of this video and I just wanted you guys to know that I recorded the part that you just watched. I recorded it like um, a few days ago, I'd say maybe um, last weekend. I'm not really sure the exact time I recorded it, but it was basically a few days ago and I had recorded so much on my laptop that I ran out of space and the last part that I recorded for the section of this video that you just watched did not save to my computer. So some of the footage is not going to be in this video and I'm just going to have to tell you about it because as we all know, life is strange, auto saves. I can't save the game when I want to and once it auto saves you can't go back to the checkpoint before you have to just go back to the most recent checkpoint so basically in that hallway um the last thing you saw me doing was getting some keys and I think they were Frank's keys to his RV and basically um you have to look on the map on the side of the of the hallway 
that shows everyone's dorm numbers and their room numbers. And each time you go into the right room, it the hallway changes into a figment of a new character's, I don't know, imagination or like just the hallway starts to represent a new character. Like at one point it changed to Victoria and the the game switched me to Victoria and I was record not recording. I was controlling her and I had to look on the map for her room number and then go to her room. And basically the hallway was covered in like graffiti and it said stuff like fuck your selfie and it said Victoria Chase rules and some of the things we've seen throughout the game that is basically tied to Victoria. And then once I went in the room, I think the hallway changed to something. It changed to Rachel Amber. And basically there was, um, I'm pretty sure that's what it did. And there was a bunch of um, missing Rachel, the Rachel Amber uh, missing posters. They were like all over the hallway and you could hear people talking and You could basically hear people talking about Rachel, like everything they've said throughout the game, like the things Frank has said about her, the things Chloe has said about her and everyone in between. And then you go to her room and then the hallway changes again. So basically that's all this happened. You guys really didn't miss much. If you go watch someone else's Life is Strange LP, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to see that part. Or if you look it up on YouTube, just look up like the hallway part of Life is Strange episode five. I don't know, but um, yeah, so I finished the hallway part and then it brought me here in this creepy room with this creepy don't teacher. Don't try to hide, Max. Get over here. Let me capture you. Oh my God. I'm so scared, guys. This is so creepy. This part is so creepy. Jefferson is coming after me again. Max. No. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now... You have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be myself is. And then it shows his creepy photos room. he's taken. It's just so creepy, guys. I really hate this part because it. Oh my god. I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder me in cold blood. <laughs> Maybe I'll be safe in the lighthouse. What? Maybe I'll wake up. To your spark, Max. I thought I could be your professor. For life. Oh, I have to go to the lighthouse. Come on, Max. How do I get over Max. there? Max. Oh, he found me. Oh my god. Leave me alone, Mr. Jefferson. Like, you used to be such a hot teacher. Now you're just a creep and you give me nightmares. What? happened to your spark max how did i get I over I there though your professor for life this is so creepy look at those photos he's taken oh this is so weird don't you guys think episode five is like really creepy i realize now you'll never be an artist much less a photographer come here max he Class sounds like dismissed. such a pedophile oh man <clears throat> Oh, please I don't find those us. Days when you looked at me in class with those wide eyes. Ew. I want to be your professor again. I can teach you so much. Please let me go over here. I'm so scared. I don't Max. Know. Oh my god. Every time he says Max like that, it scares me. And I have my earphones in, so it's even creepier. You're in class with those wide eyes. All right, let's go this way. I want to be your professor again. I can teach you so much. He's like moaning right now. Max, please wake up. Max, remember oh, I what he found me again. Said. Happiness is a warm gun. I hope you're happy that I'm dead. How do I get out of this? Do I follow the exit signs? Maybe that's what I do. Um. I see the lighthouse over there and Okay. So maybe Come on, dude, walk. Don't try to hide, Max. Get over here. Let me capture you. Max! You used to be so pure, so innocent. 
Now, you have to die. How do I get over there? Is this not letting me? So now Please I'm Please like understand, lost. Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. <laughs> what? The only place I can be my selfie? You sound so stupid. I Damn it, Max! Wake up! Me in cold blood. What happened to your spark, Max? I thought I could be your professor. For life. This is creeping me the hell out. What do I do? Wait. No, wait. I have to reach- Oh, wow. Look at her journal, guys. Maxine, you keep fucking up. How many times does Chloe have to die in front of you? Maybe it would be better to actually, you know, have a life. Find my cat, please. My heart is broken. Take a selfie, ho. Yes, you're running out of choices. Let's all go to the lighthouse. Max, why do you want to kill everybody? What did everybody ever do to you, bully? Go fuck your selfie. Always take the shot. Oh, wow. This is so creepy, guys. I don't like this at all. Um... <sighs> Well, all right. Oh my god, I'm so scared to read this stuff. Good evening, young Max. The squirrels talk to me, but how can you? Samuel has no phone. Hi, Max. Rachel Amber here. Just wanted to introduce myself. I'll be seeing you soon. Real soon. What the f- What the heck? These first three is really creeping me out. Like, Samuel's messaging us. Rachel is. Now Pompidou is. Bitch, do not mess with Frank or me. You got a snack. <laughs> Max, I loved your photo shoot with Jefferson. He absolutely captured you. If you want to if you want, we can hang out and get high. Max, this is your old pal Chloe. You left in a wheelchair in another reality. Did I thank you before you bailed to a new life? Not only did you blow off my request, you also you already jumped into another photo. How many fucking times can you abandon me, hippie? Oh my god, guys, this is so creepy. I don't like this. I'm scared. Oh, Max! Oh my god, he scared me. I have to turn the volume down because every time he screams at me, I jump out of my skin, literally. Like, I am outside of my skin right now, laying on the floor. Okay. Come on, Max. Please find out how to get to the lighthouse. This is not cute right now. This is so creepy. I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder me in cold blood. I will never ever what trust any character in any video game after this. I thought I could be your professor for life. There has to be a way to get to the lighthouse. Like, there has to be. I realize now you'll never be an artist, much less a photographer. Alright, let's Come go this way now. Max. Now that he's going that way. Class is dismissed. Maybe I go straight. I miss those days when you looked at Max. <gasps> oh. I have to rewind now. Max, you're not doing such a good job at finding out how to get to the lighthouse. I miss those days when you looked at me. And Every time he talks to me, eyes. I, I shit my pants. Professor. Like I don't like this. Oh, Max! Oh my God, this is scary as hell. Stop screaming at me. At least say Max in that weird voice you're talking in I now. Those days when you looked at <gasps> no, wait. Max? Yeah, why can't you say Max in a normal voice? But he's like in two spots. Do you guys see that? He's like in front of us and he's behind us too. So now I don't know what to do. I'm just going to hide over I here. Miss those days when you looked at me in class with those wide eyes. I want to be your professor again. I can teach you so much. Ew, he's so gross. 
Max. <gasps> Remember what John Lennon said. What is this? Oh my god, am I here? Is a warm Blackwell. This coffee. Oh, I have to like avoid him. Max. <sighs> Episode five is the biggest mind fuck ever. Okay, okay, okay. Go, 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 go. If you know the whereabouts, Max. Oh my God, Max, hurry the hell up. If you know the whereabouts of Miss Coffee, wait, Max. Shut up, Baldy. I'm trying to get to the lighthouse. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Who's this? Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. Is that Warren? Come out to play. Hey, babe, babe. Who wants to go, Abe? Go, Abe, go, Abe, babe, babe. Warren, you're creepy right now. I thought I could trust you. You dig my wheels, Max? Get in the car. I'll take you for a ride. Run. Get in the car. Run. Max. Oh my god. This is scary. Stop. Okay, I'm stopping. Go, 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 go. Oh, hey. oh my god, Max. Max, you gotta walk faster, girl. All this tiptoe, tiptoe ain't working, girl. That get you hot when if you only saw Kate fuck Mar up Max. If only Kate Marsh would have jumped off that roof. What the f What the hell is going on? Max. Max. Leave me alone. Stop saying Max. You're the worst principal on earth. Sick David Madsen on their ass. You're such a hypocrite, Max. I may be a dick. But at least I'm honest. Boy, did you get all you just use your power to cheat at life and you. cheat your friends out of life. Now he's mad at me too. <gasps> oh my god, are we gonna run into Rachel? At least I'm honest. Boy, hey! Hey! Oh my god, Nathan's in here too. I better rewind right now. I'm rewinding, Max. I'm trying my hardest to get out of this place. You thought I was harassing Kate, but I was just jealous. Get your oh my god. Ass over here. Max. I'm gonna cut you open, freak. I have to find bottles again? Are you guys kidding me? Those were my fucking beans. I'm sorry. Come back in the dark room. I know you're dying. I sure hope you don't Max. think we're buddies now. Max! I was getting so Rachel. Rachel and Oh no. Bottles. This might be hell. Let's just sit while we're about to die over here. Max, sit down. You're taking a time out no matter what. This is my nightmare. Let me have one sanctuary. Of course, this is where Chloe and Rachel used to hide from the world. But I can't hide for long. Whatever reality I'm in feels like a bad dream. What do you do now that I'm dead? Smack talk you. I don't care about hey, the bottles true. anymore. But of course, I see what she's talking about now. Oh my god, finally. <sighs> I have so much anxiety right now from this freaking. <laughs> oh man. Episode 5 is so creepy. What the heck? Now I'm in a snow globe. Don't you dare question the chef. 
Right, like you're the real cook here? I am. When your mom's away. I'll let her know that. Am I supposed to get up? No, I don't want to see this happen. He's going to come over here and like yell at me like, You killed me, Max. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two wins. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. What the heck? Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the safe mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to feast You are ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Aha! You can't hide from me forever! Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Oh man. Hey Max, would you say hi to Chloe and Joyce? Don't forget to remind them that you let me die. I told you guys he would say something like that. Hmm. This is not pretty. Dad. How long will this nightmare go on? Come on. I think you'd be perfect for my new photo <gasps> series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved Rachel Amber. But not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh, <gasps> Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. This, Let's this prove This is it. mean. I don't like this. <laughs> Booyah, Warren. I thought you were all over Max's shit. She's not all that. So who cares if she doesn't kiss me? Oh, you should have seen her make a move on me in my room. Hella lame. Max should see me make a move on you. Come here. Ew, what the heck? <laughs> God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. Ew. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. This is disgusting. How could you, Chloe? Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. <laughs> Rachel's dead and you're still alive. Life is so not fair. I wish she would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. Oh my god, now what? the heck 7171 perhaps great numbers are all over the place how will I find the right code Why are those two tiles darker than the other? Maybe it's two tile. Those two tiles are darker than the rest of them. Maybe it's 7404? I don't know. Let's try it. Wait. Let's look. 
I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. I hope that's a hint that it is. Wait, what is it? 7404? Okay, sorry, I have to check again. 7404. Nope, that's not right. Oh man. Seven eight zero two. Let's try that. Seven eight zero two. Nope, that's not right either. Nine four three three. What the heck? Come on, let me in. Why is the thing like over here? Why is it? Now why doesn't the mirror reflect any of the numbers? Oh yeah, it doesn't. Two five one five. Two five one five. Let's try that. Huh. Oops. I don't understand how I'm going to unlock this. I'm going to try 7171 again. All right, I'm going to try 0542. I don't know why I thought I think that was the one to the dark room. Okay, maybe it wasn't. Was it seven five four two? No. Um. Hmm. <laughs> I have no idea what the number could be. But there has to be some kind of clue in here. Now, why doesn't the mirror reflect any of the numbers? Is Oh wait, it does. 0311 That was it. I'm scared, guys. Don't kill us, Max! I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was about to start a new life in California. Oh my god, everyone's in here. Pompidou, Frank, Brooke, Juliet, Dana, Zach, I was Lauren. happy just being your friend. Why do you want all your Honey, friends I to die? I always thought of you like a daughter. And now you're gonna take me away from my family. Why would you do that? Max, you're exactly the kind of soldier I'd want by my side in a war. Son of a bitch, this is gonna hurt. So this is how Max gets her revenge on. 
Max, you're saying I'm happy just being your, your friend. Gave me the dumb. chance to catch one. Why do you want shit, all your Max. friends to die? Yeah, I thought we were on the same team. Why would you do that? Now I'll die alone. Max, I hope you do the right thing. I hope. I was happy just being your friend. Honey, I always Why do you want all your friends, friends to break. die? Thanks for saving me. Killing me is carrying the load, so good buddy. I know I That's haven't a big been tip. the best Why principle you to you. This is not how but I want to spend the last hour on Earth. Everyday hero for Max, us. can you call my Please mother in Portland us. and tell her that I love her? I guess my husband and new baby will have to go without me. Don't let the squirrels die. I wish we had been friends, Max. But please, don't let me die like this. I'm still a teenager. Max, I'm truly, I truly am sorry for being such a bastard. You would have been cool to hang out with. I just don't want everybody else to suffer like me. Don't let the squirrels die. You've always had my back, and now you're going to let me die? Please, Thanks, Max, Mom. don't kill me so we can finally have our tea session. Max, I want you to know how much confidence you gave me. Nobody ever did that for me. I survived poverty and an abusive family just so I can end up here to die. Who... who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you'd give a rat's ass. I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? <laughs> you were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. That's not true. I have great friends. And I've used my powers for good. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? You think she's worth all that? Of course. She's my best friend. Oh yeah, you ignored your best friend for five years while she went through hell. Max, you're being mean to me. Some friend. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she has any feelings for us? You're just another puppet. Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Oh hell, speak of the devil. Uh oh. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. the heck is this? I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. 
I want you to have it. Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Guys, I'm going to end it here because this video is getting super long. But thank you guys for watching. Episode 5 is creeping me out. I think the game is about to end soon. But yeah, like this video. if well, Thumbs up this video if you liked it and enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next part, which is probably the last part, I'm assuming. So yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and goodbye.